Welcome to the final episode of Inside 8 Days of Courage. My name is Jeff Aliff. What an incredible week's racing we've seen at the 2016 Absa Cape Epic. We've seen some incredible courage. We've seen the human spirit being pushed right to the very limits. And uh, very often the case uh, on a, a multi-day stage race, we will see the final stage being a bit of a procession, such as the Tour de France, where the riders go slowly around the Champs-Élysées. That is not the case at the Absa Cape Epic. The racing went right down to the water into Mirandol today. Let's take a look at our news wrap to see what played out as uh, the riders took on the final day. The final stage of the Absa Cape Epic took the field 86 kilometers from Boschendal to Mirandol. While the general classification was unlikely to change, there was much pride and profile to be gained from winning the grand finale. The pace was high early and CST superior Van Hotz and Becking bolted from the select lead bunch and surged towards the Dimension Data hotspot at 22 kilometers. With both Centurion Voda Mirandal teams, Dolomiti Superbike and Cannondale Factory Racing in the large group, the race-leading bulls were happy to watch the battle unfold and it came down to the last few kilometres over the Hochkroll and Mirandal trails where Manuel Fumic and Ulrich Avancini eventually passed the Centurion Voda squad and charged to the finish arena, claiming their first stage win of the week. The Bulls finished in fifth to put the seal on a faultless week of mountain biking. Carl Platt joining Christoph Sauer as a five-time winner and Urs Huber winning for the first time. The Sussel women's race was another example of a close racing that has characterised the week. But like the men, it all changed in the final few kilometres. Bella Moyna attacked, Spitz followed and they managed to stay clear to take their third stage win in a row. Annika Langtoll and Ariane Kleinans of Spurs Specialized were second and duly took their third Absa Cape Epic title in a row. I'm sitting with Chris Frankiskos from Sunto, and they are new partners that have come on board for the 2016 Absa Cape Epic. Chris, thanks for joining us. Firstly, if you can give us an idea of the type of product uh, that the company's brought uh, to the Epic. Jeff, we, we specialize in heart rate based products, um, fitness devices, performance devices, devices that tell you absolutely everything about performance, rest, recovery, what to do and what not to do for your next day's uh, stage racing. Kevin Vermark, the founder of the Absa Cape Epic, is uh, using one of your products. Uh, any idea of, of, of what, what it is and, and how it's going to be uh, helping? Kevin is a phenomenal influence within the sport environment. He's put on a fantastic event. We've seen the environment. It's my first time being here. Um, it's unbelievable to see how a professional event is run. I think if Kevin uses the watch in the way he puts his events on, he's going to get as much out of it as we have got out of this event. You said it was your first time, Chris, at the Epic. Uh, I know that you spend a lot of times, uh, a lot of your time behind the laptop, but anything that stands uh, to mind? Jeff, this morning, we, we had to laugh. A little eight-year-old, we think he was eight, came to us, a um, little 24-inch BMX, and uh, we went to him and said, look, can we help you? And he said, can you see my ambit? My dad's given me my ambit. I want to know what's more. I want to know what I can do with it and what, what new goodies you've got for me. It made me smile knowing that the youth of today are, are coming up through an event and a prestigious event like this, wanting to learn and know about being active, getting active, healthy living. It's a, it's, it makes my heart smile. Chris, thanks very much for joining us and uh, we look forward to uh, hopefully a long uh, relationship with the race. Absolutely, look completely forward to it. There we go, that was uh, Chris Frankiskos from Sunto and uh, I am still wearing my old school Sunto, which is my ex-lander. I think I'm going to have to go and get myself an ambit because this little baby has uh, been operating without a, a single problem. And that's it uh, from us for now at uh, the Tech Talk. Leonard and Klaus have just crossed the finish line. Leonard, tell me, which stage was your favorite? Actually, this one was my favorite because I actually feel much better than this one. The others was terribly. <laughs> Landon and Sean, congratulations on your finish. In one word, what would you sum it up as? Uh, challenging. Challenging. Yeah. And you? Hard. <laughs> was it worth it? 
Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Is push it? The limits. <laughs> push the limits and uh, really push yourself to do something different. Now I've got a question for you. Is it eight days of courage? Absolutely. No doubt. Nine days of courage. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, enjoy the finish. Relish it and have a nice cold beer. Thank you very much. Cool. Good. This is the grand finale. It's the culmination of eight days of courage. Well done to all of the riders and thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you next year. For the past eight days, we've seen some amazing moments play out on our epic Energade moment. Today's racing, the grand finale into Mirandol, well, it was no different. Let's see what was selected as the final stage epic's Energade moment. Epic Energade Moments. Energade, the official sports drink supplier to the Absa Cape Epic. One of our most high-profile names in the 2016 Absa Cape Epic was not Cole Platt or Urs Huber, but race founder Kevin Vermark. He's just completed the race with his partner Cedric Jakobsen. Let's hear how their week went. I think part of the creation process of the Absa Cape Epic was to make it in such a way that even if I wasn't there, it would carry on. And that process started last year with me employing a CEO to run the event and the business side of it. And, uh, and then it left me with the question, what do I do now? And I thought the best answer was actually to ride the race. I've always known that it, it must be incredibly satisfying and that's why people queue up to, to do it and come back year after year to ride the race. And um, I can now appreciate that. I mean, I, I would, you know, if, if I needed to, enter <laughs> in the normal fashion I think I probably I'll be on my on the keyboard trying to get an entry for next year on Monday morning. I, I think as South Africans we're so lucky to have the, the trails we have here. You know every time we come back to a town there are more and more trails built and we never ride the same and I, I think it's a race between landowners to develop more single track on their farms. So they you know I think I guess they've realized the value of mountain biking. You know, I, I tasted um, extreme endurance events previously and I thrive on that feeling of you know, pushing yourself to the limit. And um, it's been marvelous to, to do that for, for you know, a few days on the trot and uh, it's very satisfying to get to the end and to get my finisher medal. And frankly, I, I can't wait for someone to now ask me the question that I've been asked for 13 years, that how many times have you done it? Or have you ridden the epic? And now I can finally answer, well, yes I have. You know, for so many years, uh, the highlight of the epic for me is to, to just watch the pro racing. And, uh, you know, we've seen how it's got more and com more competitive every year. And it's an absolute privilege now for, for me to be riding the same route and to have the exact same experience as these guys. And uh, I absolutely love it. And I can understand why it's so addictive to, to the average mountain biker out there, or at least the serious mountain biker out there that wants to experience the same thing. It's been an incredible week at the 2016 Absa Cape Epic. Let's take a last look back at some of the highlights.
Okay, we are on the, the uh, recovery lounge with the winners, Carl Platt and Nussuber from Bulls. And let's see if we can get a quick word. Carl Platt, we can just get a quick word with you. Congratulations, number five, lots of emotion. Lots of emotion. I've been waiting for this uh, now five years and finally it came true. So I can't describe how happy I am and uh, let's just have a big, big party tonight. The nerves this morning before the start, a little tenser? Uh, not today actually, because yesterday we made everything clear and, and uh, today was just about controlling and uh, yeah, stay really relaxed and focused and we made it to the finish line. We could enjoy really the last 20 kilometers and uh, yeah, emotions yeah. all over. Congratulations, Thank the most popular much. son of the Cape Epic. Well done. Thank you very much. How does it feel, Lus? Number five for Carl, number one for you. L much deserved. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great, but it's unbelievable. I think it's a moment that I will never forget to come here over the line with the yellow jersey. It's such a great day. Did you get a chance? Did you speak to Carl at any stage at the end here and say, hey, Carl, it's, it's, it's here, it's, it's in our hands? Yeah, we were in a big group till the last climb and then some teams attacked for the stage win and we don't like to suffer today that much and uh, just enjoying the last kilometers. Yeah, happy. Congratulations. Well, there we have it. Uh, probably one of the most popular winners of the Epsa Cape Epic in 2016 Team Bulls, Carl Platt and Urs Huber. We're now awaiting the ladies. Okay, we're sitting with uh, Ariane Klein and Spurs Specialized doing what they needed to do uh, in the final stage. Ariane, big smile, lots of relief. It was a tough start, but uh, you guys came through at the end. How you feel? Yeah, super happy. Really, really happy. I can't actually believe it. It was such a strong ladies field this year. Um, yeah, I mean, that we, it would have been nice to take home the stage, but I must say, Savina and Diana, they wrote absolutely brilliantly and um, it just shows like how much rewarding or actually <clears throat> how special this jersey is again to win against those strong ladies here. Uh, so I'm extremely happy to take it home. Would you say that the, the toughness of this race for you guys, would you say that this, that makes your third title a little bit sweeter? Yeah, of course. No, definitely. I mean, to, against, uh, to win against this competition is just very, very special. And I mean, going into the epic hours, not uh, super confident or not as confident as maybe previous years and yeah, that just makes it even more special. Good luck and enjoy your rest, I know you're going to. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. There we go with Ariane Kleinanz, one half of Team Spurs Specialized. We'll be catching up with Annika Langval shortly. Right, uh, we with the second half of Spurs Specialized, Annika Langval. Annika, you look really happy. It's been a tough epic, I think, but uh, you guys have pulled through. Congratulations, how's the emotions? Oh, the emotions are very good. Uh, well, as we, as we saw just now, um, with Sabine and Jana winning in the last stage, and not only that one, but also the, the previous stages we had, uh, they're very strong. So we really, really, really had some stiff competition this year. Um, we, of course, had a, a, a great advantage on, on, on knowing each other quite well, knowing how to do the teamwork, knowing the area, the terrain, how this whole thing is going. Uh, and that's definitely where we we were strongest. Was there a little bit of uh, a, a little part of Annika Langval that thought stage win today? I want to push for that as well. Oh, I gave it everything. I gave it everything. Um, I tried to help Ariane as much as I could. Um, yeah, pushing her a lot, like really giving her like a slipstream. Uh, we actually got away uh, because of crosswind. I don't know if you saw that. Um, so I had to be very, very sharp. I couldn't just, uh, you know, go on standby and just ride. I had to really think all the time. So I was challenged uh, very much too. But yeah, but I, no, I mean, I, we got the best out of it what we could. So I'm very satisfied. Three Absa Cape epic victories. She's now an honorary Cape Tonian, and uh, we look forward to hopefully seeing her back next year to defend her title.
And that is it from the final episode of Inside 8 Days of Courage. For those of you who are unable to make it to the race itself, thanks so much for joining us for the past eight days on live streaming. Don't forget, at 1500 hours tomorrow, GMT Plus 2. Uh, stand by on cape-epic.com and to uh, get your uh, entry in if you want to take part in the race in 2017. From me, Jeff Aleph, and the team, until next year, keep it safe and goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2016 Absolute Cape Epic!